Hello everybody! On today's build, we're gonna build an outdoor heated cat house. I have three small kittens. I actually have a mom cat and two kittens that were at this house when I moved in. Not this guy here, this is my indoor cat, Sprocket. He's uh, my little helper for today. Took little Sprocket here and I was able to measure him. <laughs> he wants to explore the garage. So, <laughs> so I measured Sprocket in a sleeping position when... Uh... <laughs> Sprocket's a little playful right now. <laughs> are you a little, are you a little tiger, huh? You're a little tiger? Okay, so I also measured Sprocket when he was sleeping, and then I just multiplied it like there would be three uh, cats lying down there. That gave me an area of 15 and a half um, by 36. And a seated position to the top of his head was 17 inches. So I think what I'm gonna do is make the height of the house uh, between 16 and 24 inches tall. There'll be some posts. The post will wrap with twine, then have a platform, and then the house will be on top. And the house has got this whimsical shape, which we'll build in just a minute. I wanted it to be heated, so I ordered a heated outdoor, indoor um, heating pad from Amazon. When I went to Home Depot, I grabbed a four by eight sheet, took it to the back, and I had the guy pre-cut it into two foot sections. So they're two foot by four foot. It just makes it easier when you're trying to work uh, by yourself. Let's build this thing. The uh, next step, which is kind of the first step on the actual build, is going to be, excuse me kitty, drawing out on one piece of the board the profile of the house, uh, the side profile, and then we're gonna duplicate it. And really, I'm just going off of what looks good to me. I don't think there's a, uh, International Committee of Cat House Building. <laughs> One kitty, two kittens. It only looks like it's big enough for two kittens right now, Sprocket. Hmm. 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 Think. This roof line has to come out to here a bit more. I've drawn the door shape. I've drawn the window shape. Sprocket has it in his contract that uh, every hour he's on camera, he gets to uh, munch some treats here. Okay, Sprocks, I'm gonna get the saws. So when I start with the jigsaw, you always wanna make sure you're not up against the wood. I'll be just slightly away from it, start the saw, and then go into the wood. This is what the house is gonna look like. Okay, so with the jigsaw, when you get to a, when you wanna make a corner like this, it's not possible just to get to it and turn. So what you're gonna have to end up doing is, I'll do it with a pencil here so you can see, is you go straight, then you're gonna come back, and then probably right over here, you'll make a nice curve like this. Continue to finish here, turn it around, go back this way and continue on that one. Wait for the blade to stop completely before I take it out. And go back, and you can see now I have a straight line that way. Now it's big enough that I can easily drop my blade through. And just like before, I'm gonna follow that curve, uh, make the curve into it, and then go back and forth and I'll end up cutting out the whole thing. The next step is gonna be to put this on another piece of wood and trace it out to make the other side. So I'm gonna put a little mark here on this side. I'm gonna make a cutout right here. It comes down. The board will be tilted. They'll be able to walk up, turn and go in. So I've gone and cut out this section here on the, the top base part. So I need to build the base, 
build the sides. I need the piece for right here on the side and the piece for right here. I wanna glue everything up to the top here, but before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and sand this board because it'll be easier to do it now. I went ahead and sanded the bottom here and it looks really good. All the corners are nice and smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and sand both sides and the other bottom to the platform uh, next. Just to get those done real quick before I start cutting some more boards. This time though, I am gonna wear a respirator. Kind of forgot to put it on last time and <clears throat> just ate a little bit of sawdust. Not a good thing. Production. So everything is sanded. <laughs> I'm gonna put some post, probably, I think three post. That should be nice and stable. I have a four by four, eight foot long post here, and I'm just cutting it into 24 inch sections, and I'll cut three of them. That way those will be my post for the base. This will come up here. And sit up there like that, and then I'll start building the house. Sweet. Pretty good. Nice and sturdy. Look at that. <laughs> this base easily be able to hold the uh, cat house. Put these next two nails at a 45 opposite of each other. And the reason why I do that is if the nails all go straight, well, if something happens, it can get pulled straight out. If your nails are opposed, well, once they're in there, they create a V wedge and it can't come off at all. So now this is pretty darn strong and it's nice and square. Wipe off the Bit of glue here. I have a bottom piece, a top piece, which goes like this, and then a piece here, which goes in the middle. So this is gonna be a door, which will then come down. Now you might be asking, should I have safety glasses on at this point? Yes. I should have safety glasses on at this point. I'm sure there's gonna be a comment below. Well, actually, there's probably not gonna be any comments. It'll probably just be my mom watching this to tell you the truth, but hey, it's fun. And if this helps one person build a house for their cat, I'm cool with it. Yikes. Dripping glue everywhere. Hey, what are you gonna do next? Wipe out that glue? Yeah, I'm sure you're gonna wipe out that glue. And I'm gonna frame to open and close. The gap's big enough. Okay. Okay, so I put the door back in, installed the hinges down here at the bottom, and a little latch at the top, if I can unlatch. Bring it down, and now I can get into the house when I need to uh, change the bedding out for the cats. I think the next thing we'll conquer is putting a roof on this house. But I had a whole bunch of uh, these pressure treated you know, scraps. So what I'm gonna do is just cut them, run them through the table saw here, and cut them into little tiny slats, and I'll use all those pieces uh, for my roof. I bought this uh, rug and the back of it's like real thick rubber. Off we go, we'll have a roof pretty soon. A nail in the back 
You don't want to be careful with your hands having them like around here. I have done this before where you shoot the nail gun and the nail kind of curves out. It hits something hard in the wood and then sticks in your finger. And uh, that's no fun. Ah, so it looks like I accidentally bumped my microphone for this part here. What I'm trying to say is that I got a little bored with the way the uh, front was looking. It looked just like there was too much open space. So I went ahead and made a chimney. I went ahead and finished the roof and uh, the chimney here. Put a little detailed trim around the edge of the trimmer, which I like. What do you think? Do you like this house? <laughs> ah, Sprocket, that's my hand. Hi, I don't want you to keep this house up, dude. I want to keep it. Ow, dude, that hurts, man. What is wrong with you? Come on. I need to keep working on this house for those outdoor cats. House is pretty much done for today. I'm gonna let it, uh, everything dry, all the little glue pieces dry overnight. And then tomorrow I'm gonna paint. I added a bunch of little trim, a little few details here and there. And I'm really liking where it's gonna be. It's the next morning. Ran to the paint store, got some paint, and chose two quartz here. We got a dark gray, a light gray, and a green accent color. Let's paint. I decided to run out to the yard and grab some rocks. So I grabbed a whole bunch of these little tiny rocks here and I grabbed the strainer from the kitchen. Wife shouldn't mind. Rinsed off uh, the rocks in the yard to get most of the mud off them and stuff. And now I'm going to lay them out um, on some paper towels and try to dry them because I'm going to use these later on in the build. So they will provide a detail, which you'll find out about later. All the gray paint is on and Amanda here, there she is. <laughs> Amanda's gonna work on the chimney. What she's gonna be doing is taking some super strong adhesive glue and gluing the rocks that we got from the yard earlier to the front. A lot of work. A lot of work? Yeah, but it's fun. How long has that taken you so far? 20 minutes. 20 minutes, yeah, not too bad. I think you'll be done in like an hour and a half. I finished the whole roof already. Oh, good job. Yeah. Yeah. Done. <sighs> just, uh -huh. just waiting now. For me? I have to do this platform. So you I can work around this. me. You're yeah, talented. maybe I will. Maybe I'll do all the trim and stuff. And then I'll do a second coat on the roof. Yeah. Maybe by then you'll be done. Maybe. <laughs> Hour and a half. How's it look? Oh, let's see. Oh, that looks sweet. I like it. Take All right. Do the rest of it. Hour and a half, and you gotta do the sides too. And then I have to clock it. I think. Oh, you gotta do around the back too. Yeah. Don't forget there. So around here and there is almost the exact same amount of time as you have there, plus these sides. So another five hours. Two hours. I think you have two more hours to go. I think while you're doing that, now I'm gonna work on putting some of the rope around the bottom. Looking at this section right here, and I think proportionate wise, I'm gonna have to add a little bit more detail. So, time to come up with something.
All that's left is I need to balance out this color here. So I put the masking tape on the house. I drew some flower stems, like an outline for them. And then I'm gonna use this X-Acto blade and cut out the outline of the stems, peel it off, and then I'll paint them. I got these little flowers. I painted the petals green. I found this little cat toy here. It was like $3. Looks like a real cat house now. Pretty pleased. I put the carpet back in it. <sighs> We're done. This is the end of the two day build and I really, really had fun building that cat house. What I really would like to see is if you guys out there try to go and create your own cat houses and tell me about it in the comments below, send me an email with a photo of your cat house. I'd love to see it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll have a lot more builds coming. Sprocket, come here, buddy. Mm, let me get you. Don't bite me. <laughs> you always talk sweet, gentle kitty. You always talk to your little girl. No, 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 no. Mm. You ride the best car. Now, for Kung Fu time. <laughs> Why do you like to tear me off? <laughs> yeah, so much. <laughs> mm.